Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a thrift store haul with you. I did buy a few things from other stores as well, so I'm going to do all of it together in this video, but I wanted to start with my thrift store finds. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive right in. The first thing that I wanna share is this cute little like tricycle. What I am going to do with this tricycle, I have no idea. I did find this at, um, I think I was at Goodwill when I found this. So I went to Thrifty City, the Goodwill, as well as Salvation Army. This little tricycle was $7. The second thing that I purchased there uh, was some fabric, $2. It's black and white stripe. I'm sure I can find something to do with this. I do have a modern farmhouse theme kind of going on. So the black and white, I think will look really good in the house. I also picked up a few bowls. I don't plan on using these. I mean, I don't know how I feel um, about using China and stuff like that from the thrift store, but I'm sure it's fine. I don't plan on actually using these, but these look like, they kind of look like clay, um, like pots. So I'm just going to put them up on the bookshelf as well and use those kind of as decor pieces. Another thing that I got is this wreath. So this wreath is heinous, like it is not cute at all, but it was $2.99. I plan on ripping off all of these flowers. They come off so easily. It's just like they're super glued. I'm just going to throw those, pull all these off and then redo this. So that'll likely be a video as well. I want to do my own spring wreath since these things are like so expensive and I'm not about that like 40, 50, 60 dollar life. So I'm going to remix this wreath um, and then I'll bring you guys along for that as well. I did get this bowl. Uh, it's not the cutest like bowl, but it's so heavy. It's so heavy. It's a definitely a very good wood bowl. Not sure if I'm going to put it, um, like not sure if I'm gonna paint it or just sitting on a table and put like the decorative spheres in it or use it as a key junk bowl like at the door. I'm not sure yet, but it is very heavy. Um, and so I had to have it for $2.99. I'm like, I will figure out something to do with this bowl. Uh, the other thing that I got is a wicker basket. I guess it's wicker basket, right? Um, it's more like rattan, rattan, rattan basket, whatever. Um, but I thought this was super cute as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I liked that it had a lid. Um, so I might just kind of sit it somewhere on a bookshelf or I doubt I'll actually use it, but we'll see. Maybe I can put some candles in here or make it decorative as well. But I really liked this basket. This basket was $4. My absolute favorite thrifted pieces are these candle holders. Now this is the last thrifted piece that I have. Um, and then the rest I got at actual like uh, stores. So I got this tall one here and this medium size here. I absolutely love these. They are so heavy, such a good find. This one was $4.99 and this one was $3.99. So for $9, I am going to, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them this dark. I don't think I am. I think I'm either going to spray paint them white or spray paint them gray and then like go over them with white paint or do like the tan with the white paint. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I absolutely love these and they're so heavy and gorgeous. So this was a really good find. I'm very, very excited about these. Okay, so now I'm gonna share with you the things that I found at Hobby Lobby. I only shop at Hobby Lobby when things are about 50% off um, because I'm not about that like Hobby Lobby life. So the first thing that I picked up is this sweet tea sign. I absolutely love it. I think it's gonna look great um, on my bookshelf at the top, especially in front of this basket. I did get the, um, what are these called? Tobacco baskets, right? I got this 50% off as well, and I'm going to kind of sit them uh, layered, kind of like this, um, and then I have something, some other stuff that um, I'm gonna put up there as well. And after I show everything that I purchased, I'm gonna do a video eventually once I have all the stuff collected of me actually decorating my uh, coffee bar. So I'm really excited about that. Other thing that I got at Hobby Lobby is this white vase. Um, it was 50% 15, off, so $30. I paid $15 for this. Sorry, the sign was six bucks and the basket I wanna say was $9. 
Um, but these I actually got at Walmart. So this is four bunches, four bunches for $12. I think it looks really freaking good for 12 bucks. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for stems or filler or something like this, try Walmart because you'd be surprised at the little things they have in those aisles that no one's really checking out trying to get. One last thing from Hobby Lobby. Um, I did get this little sign for my coffee bar. I want to put it inside the tear tray that I have and I'm going to show that to you. But it just says, uh, all I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. So I'm going to sit that in my coffee bar. The last two items that I have are from Sam's Club. They were a freaking steal, okay? So I got this uh, two-tier tray. I'm going to put this on my coffee bar and decorate it with possibly some big plants and mugs. I think I want to get a copper mug set uh, to put in here and then a bunch of little signs like somehow get this in here on something and, and make that work. Um, I absolutely love this tiered tray here. And last but very, like just not least, I don't even know if I can get this in the frame, but for $20, so again, that two tier tray was $20 at Sam's Club. But for $20, I got this giant clock. Like, can you see how big this clock is? It is a 30 inch white clock. I absolutely love it. And yeah, for $20, I had to have it. Don't know where I'm putting it, but I had to freaking have it. So that's it. I absolutely had a blast shopping at the thrift store. It's kind of, sometimes it feels like a little gross. They have hand sanitizer, use it people. Um, but I think of the shopping experience, my absolute favorite items, like it's just, I love these candle holders. I cannot wait to paint them. Um, I think they're going to look so good on my entertainment center when I get one. And yeah, so if you guys want to see more videos like this, please just give this a thumbs up. Leave a comment below on what you thrifted lately. Maybe I should be looking out for something else, especially that goes with my um, modern farmhouse kind of theme. But thank you guys for stopping by. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.